Beatles, weirdos, boils and ghouls. We back on another investigation. We got Dean with us. After a while. After, it's been a while, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the last time me and Dean went out, you guys saw it. Everywhere we went was flooded or knocked down. So we've come back to where the first investigation on the channel started. Famously, Amy's Crypt have been here twice, did two fantastic episodes here. Uh, there's a photo of her in the window upstairs at the back. It's quite iconic for her and her channel. So it's our fourth or fifth visit now, and we've had to scrap every investigation we've done here. Once was my card corrupted. Um, once was a rave in the woods. Once was a shamanic festival in the woods. It brought a cool effect, but it did, did ruin the video. Yeah. Um, we tried to carry on anyway with both of them, but when it came to editing, you, you know, it was just nothing we could do with it. The wind's quite high tonight. It is quite moist. <laughs> <laughs> it's been raining today, but it's dried off now. It's not very warm either. I think it's 11 degrees. There we go. So no, it's not very warm. Apparently we're going to be dropping to about five degrees tonight. So obviously we've come here to get some daylight shots with the camera up there that you'll be looking at this on. Is that wobbling in the wind? <laughs> no, I think it's the leaves behind us making it look as if it is. So we're going to do an investigation here tonight. Um, obviously stories that we've told you on previous investigations. Um, we have debunked the goblin stone, wasn't it? Yeah. It's rumoured to have been um, unearthed up in the sand dunes there, and it's not the case. It's actually inside of a local church. People are going into that church all the time. Nobody's been forced into a kneeling position. Nobody's been forced to stay there until they die. <laughs> um, or folklore and wise tales. Yeah. But obviously the paranormal activity that gets reported here are strange noises, growls, screams, shadow figures, and very strange lights. Now, Amy's crypt saw something in this area here where she thought she saw something fly past. She never said it was paranormal, but it was too big to be like a bird. But it just freaked it out a bit. Um, but obviously it wasn't on camera. Um, the last couple of times we've been here, when we came here in the reeve, was happening. Nothing, was it? No. Oh, well. We were so distracted. Pardon the pun, but it was dead. Yeah. We were so distracted by the noise coming out of the woods and we knew the camera footage was going to be ruined. And one of our static cameras, when I was trying to edit it, you could see it bouncing with the base of the reeve. So sound wise, useless. When the shamanic one was going on, we thought we were being, we thought there was someone like behind us or to the side of us all the time. Yeah. Um, in fact, you went out there to, 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 because you thought there was somebody outside that part of the wall. Well, at you? first I thought you had walked around. And then it, when I went out there, I realized you were over that way. I don't think we've had any paranormal experiences here, but we have had weird feelings here and got creeped out here. And everyone asks me on the live streams, or they'll ask Dean on the live streams because he's in the chat moderating, what's the, what's the creepiest place you've ever investigated? And I've gone to 30 East Drive, my haunted hotel, the ancient ramen, num numerous places, and this one is always the creepiest for me. I don't know why. You know, it, it's just a, an old manor house ruin. Well, I did say on the way up, didn't I? When, we, when I first walked in here earlier. I did say this place just has that feeling as soon as you enter, enter it. Yeah, it's, it's creepy upon entry and I don't know why. So guys, we have moved upstairs, or what's left of the upstairs, only this one room, like a little nook there. This is the window where Amy's crypt took, I think it's, prob it's quite a famous photo now. Um, have we ever had, me and Mrs Geek had a weird experience up here. Or the, the thing that split two different colours that came off the camera. Yeah, it came towards the camera and then split, didn't it? Yeah. So, um, obviously the first visit we had here, um, me and Mrs Geek, we used my current mobile phone and an old mobile phone to record on. We didn't have all this stuff. I mean, I've even left a camera in the house. <laughs> my little Sony. Oh, the original the Sony night, one yeah. you had. We even left that in the house. We didn't have proper microphones or anything, and now we've got you know, three cameras that we've brought with us. There's a fourth in the house. We've got proper microphones and stuff. So yeah, I've upgraded quite a bit since then as well. So yeah. So hopefully with the upgrading, we'll have uh, 
I don't know. And we haven't finished yet either. <laughs> no, not at all. But hopefully with the upgrades, it'll just mean that the videos are better quality for you guys. So that wind is going to be a pain in the ass tonight. It's coming straight through there. There's a window just below it. Alright guys, so it's pretty much dark. There's a, a little bit of the dusk sky left, but in here it's pretty dark, barely see. You can make out the building shapes and stuff, so we're gonna start calling out. Dean scared an onlooker, which was hilarious. Dean walked past the window upstairs, some guy's taking a selfie, he looks at his phone and sees somebody stood behind him, but up in the air, great, we laughed. So while we've been here, obviously the birds have gone quiet now, um, we have seen a bat. I'm pretty sure I saw a rat jump off the window when I first came in earlier on tonight. So we've got to take that into account. We have we have been getting a little bit creeped out. So we did um we did a bit of a skit that you'll see at the end with um, the Ouija board down there. I don't know if you can see it. So do you want to call out first? Is there any spirits here? Would like, would like to say something loudly as, we, as it's quite windy. Would like to come down and touch us. Would like to move something. There's plenty of ob objects to move. Move the planchette on the Ouija board. If that moves from me touching <laughs> it, I'm going fucking home. <laughs> Love you. So earlier on, we both stood here, we'd just been messing about. We hadn't touched the planchette, we were just um, shouting at it to move. We turned our backs on it, and it sounded like the, the planchette moved, but it was my REM pod falling over. Nothing paranormal, it was probably the wind. I hope it was the wind. Or I've got a haunted REM pod, which is fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Go with the haunted dolls. If there's any spirits here, could you come out to us, please? If there's any spirits here, could you come out to us, please? If there's any spirits here, could you come out to us, please? If there's any spirits here, could you come out to us, please? That was fucking loud. Yeah. I heard that. Sounded like a stone dropping, didn't it? it sounded like something heavy the other side of that wall. Now to get in there, you've got to go out through this door, all the way around, and then try and get through the hedges we went through last time, and then the whole room is overgrown. Yeah, because there's not an easy way from that direction either. No. Look, there's a drip there. We know what that is, because we've been here all night. I've not heard that. That was a loud pop. Drippage. Hashtag drippage. That was really loud. Spirit, if that was you, could you do that again? Could you throw something, please? I think I was an animal that time. We. See, there's uh, that wall, wherever it is. Wherever it is coming from that direction. Yeah. So, Spirit, we don't know if that's you or an animal. So, if you could make that noise again after the count of three, then we'll know we're talking to you. One, two, three. There's an owl in the distance. <laughs> it was on cue, mate. <laughs> owl, you're making this even creepier than it already is. The only thing we're missing is a full moon. Yeah. So, um, obviously, it, it's not pitch black quite yet, but it's dark enough, and this place is... I think this is the creepiest place I've gone, and, you know, I've been to 30 East Drive, the ancient ram in. This place is the only one that's... It, it's creeped me out every time I've come here. I think it's because it's exposed as well. It might be. Cause it's all open. Mm. I it just looks like a creepy building. Obviously, we know the history. It's all the shapes as well. Like when you look up and see all the archways, the leaves coming off. Yeah. Because um, so 
the upstairs up there, I've investigated up there a few times. Dean has. Um, I've never felt sort of really bothered up there, never felt creeped out or anything. This area, it's a bit horrible because there's two ways in and there's all these little nooks and archways and stuff. It kind of puts you on edge. I mean, Dean were talking earlier and there's another room back there that we both had a weird experience in last time and unfortunately the sound was ruined because of a, um, a shamanic rave in the woods. Um, I thought I saw somebody go up the back. I went to see if, they were if there was actually somebody there, put my torch on and looked. On my way back in, Dean thought I walked around that way. He heard my footsteps and thought that's where I was. And when he called me and I came out of the sort of the, the little wood area there at the top, he was just sort of shocked. Um, it I was, remember, it was clear it, it, that someone was there. Yeah, didn't, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you think you saw some movement? Yeah, that's why I went over there. Because I heard footsteps, looked up, I thought I saw something, went over there thinking it was you. And you came from over there. <laughs> Which, you know, corner of the eye, this place, this IV and all the rest of it, but it's probably just this place playing tricks on you because it's creepy. But it's a great place to investigate. I don't particularly enjoy outdoor investigations, but this place never sort of fails to creep us out. I think there's only two we've done, which are actually this place and the monument, the park slip. Because you were surprised with that one, weren't you? Yeah. The miners one. So tonight, we are going to break our own rules a little bit. We're going to use Ghost Tube in a little while. We're going to use the REM pod, the EMF, and then we're going to use the Ouija board. We're just going to throw everything at it because we go, you know, we've been here four or five times. We stopped using equipment. We were just using cameras. And it becomes a bit of a slog. So um, if we can, I don't know, maybe stir something up. I mean, the ideas kind of come from Mr. Grey, because Mr. Grey was like, I'm going to start believing, convince myself I'm believing. Now, me and Dean already believe. So if we can just throw everything at it, and then... I don't know, maybe it'll inject our minds into a op more open mindset. And it's a great idea Mr. Grey has got. I don't know if it'll work for him being a complete sceptic, but it's a great idea. Um, just see if we get any responses that make any sense. And, you know, people say when you're a bit more scared, maybe things will happen. And everyone that comes here is on edge. Mrs. Geek didn't like it when she was here, but wants to come back because of the creep factor. The spirits of Candleston Castle. My name is Dale. My name is Dean. And we are not here with any disrespect, not to the building and not to yourselves. We're just here to document if Candleston Castle has any of his residents. That was just the wind blowing something down. Could you step forward, please? We thought you might have done a loud knock on the, on the wall behind Dale earlier. Could you do that again? Obviously, guys, you're going to be hearing all sorts of weird noises just because of wind dislodging stuff. We're not going to call everything out as the wind, but if we don't call it out as something worth noting, it is just the wind. Yeah, the knock we heard on that wall earlier it sounded too heavy to be. Yeah, the knock we heard on that wall earlier it sounded too heavy to be. Yeah, the knock we heard on that wall earlier it sounded too heavy to be. Yeah, the knock we heard on that wall earlier it sounded too heavy to be. Yeah, the knock we heard on that wall earlier it sounded too heavy to be. It sounded really heavy. It was, it was a deep pop. May have been a car backfiring miles away. Because it sounded like when, when you put when you got a wood a stone block and you hit it against the wall. Yeah, that's where that's the thud it, it sounded thud like. That sounded to me like it came from the other side of that wall. 
but it, you know, it could have been anything really. So normally we ask for communication via knocks or taps. That's not gonna work here. Could you possibly use your voice, please? Feel free to use our energy, whatever energy you can. And just see if you can shout one word out really loud and clear for us, please. If you can't use your voice, could you throw something at us, please, Spirit? There's plenty of stuff all over the ground. I don't mind you throwing something at me. Or me. I swear something must have the focus on your camera, does that? It may just be because I've turned it a bit. There's a weird shimmer there for some reason. Yeah. It's, there's a little eye like, ugly there, look, by the side of your head, and it's unfocusing. I've got this set on to one of all. Could you appear behind us, spirit? Right, that was my, there's a weird foot on this and it drags. Could you appear behind us, please? Could you show us yourself? Maybe in that nook that, um, I did somebody say that was a library? I can't honestly remember. Could you show yourself in this room behind me, please? Or make a noise in your favourite part of the building and we will come to you. Okay then, spirit. In my hand is something that may look like magic to you. And the thought is that you can speak through this device. And for you guys at home, we are not saying that that's what this does. It's just something for us to experiment you with. You don't understand. I probably don't, because you're speaking Welsh. I mean, is that relevant, maybe? Did you not understand what, us trying to speak Welsh earlier? Nobody would understand me trying to speak <laughs> Welsh earlier. That was abysmal. I'm sorry if, you don't, if we don't understand you. Well, all, I, all I could remember was shithead. But if you speak into the general area around us or try to touch what's in my hand, maybe we could start to... Why is he here? Fucking hell, I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I jumped then. <laughs> well, I got that on camera. Why is he here? Um, we are paranormal investigators and we've come here to see if we can speak to the spirits of Candleston. If you're referring to one of us two, touch the one that, that you that you want that you're talking about. Could you do that, spirit? Could you touch one of us? Could you give us a name? I'm not going to call out any of the names associated with this place. But if you give us a name, we can check it when we go home. Can you say yes if you if you were the one that banged on the wall earlier? I imagine this was once a beautiful home and we're here just with respect and interest in the paranormal. If there is somebody here, could you please come forward? Again, my name is Dale. And he's Dean. He forgot to speak. <laughs> come on, spirits. People are Brandon. Brandon. It's a bit of a new name, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit modern for... What was this place built, the 1600s, 1400s? I don't think there was a Brandon back then. I mean, there is a Brandon tool hire 10 miles up the road, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't think the tool, I don't think the tool light's been going for that long. <laughs> We're not mocking the spirits. <laughs> We're mocking. I'm not even mocking the app. I mean, we we know. Not not even the app developers see that it's a hundred percent proof of anything. It's just a bit of fun. Um, but apparently, it takes in readings. What is worth noting is though the none of our phones had any sort of signal or anything when we got here. So this app can't pick up our location. This area is a complete black spot. Yeah. I mean, we're, what, half a mile from the sea? Yeah, there was no phone signal or Not, 4G, well, 3G. It was a two-mile lane to get here and no mm -hmm. phone signal all the way down there. Because we're in between um, the mountain into town and that... Rituals. Rituals. Um, there's rumoured to have been uh, witchcraft. Well, it's not a rumour. Witchcraft happens here quite often. Now, we don't believe witches are evil at all. We understand witches and witchcraft as loving Mother Nature, loving the earth. Is that what you mean by rituals? Are you referring to the Ouija board? that we've got as a ritual. So we've brought a Ouija board with us that we're going to try in a little while. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 right then guys, so um welcome <clears throat> back. Right. There'll be a cut in the video there. If you stick to the end, C put composure. You'll see how long we were actually laughing for. We'll, we'll put it in at the end. There's a load of outtakes from <sighs> this <laughs> weird bizarre investigation. <laughs> We're back in investigation mode now, I hope. We were laughing for so long, I actually brought tears to my eyes. Dean was crying laughing. I couldn't get a word out, and every time I tried to get a word out, I started laughing again. Bored? What's a bit rude? Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's B-O-R-E-D. So, if this is just random words, could you show yourself to us, please? Pop up behind me. Or even walk in between me and my friend Dean. Touch one of us. Or throw something, please. That does sound like movement there, doesn't it? <laughs> Abused. Abused? Amused, I thought it said. Abused. Mm. Um, Was the abuse going on you back in the day? I imagine they would have had servants and stuff in a house this big way back then, maybe. Because yeah, this is only... Not, not even half the building, is there? No, there's another wall over there. There's a, w built, a w room behind there, but every time we've gone in there, there's been animals in there, and it's an absolute nightmare to get in as well. This is a section where we thought there was something in the, just out of sight all the time, didn't we? Yeah. Last, last, last time we were here. Yeah, when we were here before Spirit, Dean thought he saw someone moving. Was Leave that... me alone. Very sorry. That's, um, that's we'll, not very nice. We'll just pack up and go in. Spirit's told us to piss off. Investigation over. Yeah. Oh, well, guys, we'll, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. You're not going to get rid of us that easy. If you want us to leave, Spirit, could you do something to make us leave? Throw something. Hit me. Hit Dean. Give us a good push. Break our equipment. Not these cameras, though. These are expensive. Yeah, I can't afford another one. No.
Oh, we've got a pile. No energy. No energy. There's plenty of batteries, but yeah. You can feel free to drain energy from wherever you need. Now, see that? <laughs> I've asked this question, right? You go to 30 East Drive and you go, use my energy. Use the energy from my phone. Use the energy from the lights, from the cameras. This means power in there. Yeah. <laughs> All they got to do is go to an electricity Use a plug, plug. socket. <laughs> Jack, Jack themselves in, way to go. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a weird question to ask that, isn't it? But maybe they need human energy. In an abandoned property, you can understand it. Why is that so lit up over there? The sneak bottles. But I can see the fireplace. I couldn't see that just now. See what I mean? I can see the fireplace and the wall like it's illuminated. Yeah, that is weird. Ah, that'll be why. Why? Because the moon is just through that window there. It's lighting it all up. I don't think my camera is going to be able to see it. Or through that window. Yeah, up there, look. The moon is just catching it right to light up that fireplace. It must have been a cloud has passed over it. And to me, it looked like it. The, like somebody shone a torch in really slowly. Yeah, the leaves are covering it from my angle. That was weird, man. Yeah, uh, so it, it, obviously we didn't think that was a ghost. It was just, I thought somebody was coming up with a torch because it looked like a light slowly moved across this wall behind me, but it was just, uh, I mean, it was really cloudy when we came here. And now we've got a clear sky. Well, that's why it's going to drop to five degrees. And what we may have to do, folks, fire up the old Ouija board. Dean's never done one. Are you nervous about it? No. Huh? It's fucking boring, isn't it? To me, it's just a board of materials. Well, we're not going to get anything with that attitude, are we, <laughs> young man? <laughs> Jesus. You've got to get all excited, you know. Get a bit of energy going. Show a bit of fear, a bit of emotion. Can't help if I'm sceptical towards them. I mean... I haven't had a personal experience like you have. No, well, the last one I did, when it didn't move. Nothing. In the home of a demon, apparently. Well, incubus or succubus. Well, I've seen things without a, without a Ouija board, so... I'm not going to worry about yeah. a Ouija board, am I? When no. I've already seen something. Spirits, could you come downstairs, please? Come say hello. I can help you with some light, if I can find the switch. Could you come down the stairs, please? If you just heard something, it's a leaf or whatever out there. What about your kitchen area? Joy, even with this big bright light on, you can't see in there. Can the IR see in there? Oh my God. <laughs> There's a skull in there. A skull? Yeah. I'm not even bullshitting. Look. Fucking hell, call the FBI. <laughs> Can you see it? Over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's looking straight at us. Somebody's chucked a Halloween decoration in there. Oh, I love it. For a split second, I was like, is that a skull? Have you got a stick? Yeah. Science. Poke it. Just put it <laughs> Yeah, give, give, give it a prod. Pick it up. So we can't come in there, spirit. Could you come to us? Look at my camera. 
I mean, are we clickbaiting the fuck out of this video? We found a bone <laughs> in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> but police were not called. Okay, so we moved the board, the planchette clockwise three times. So one, one two, two, three. three. Back to the middle. So if there are any spirits that would like to communicate with us, the thought is that you can use our energy while we're touching this board and push this planchette. You got your fingers on nice and light? Yeah, barely touching it. Cool. So if there are any spirits at Candleston, or if anyone would like to come forward, could you give us a name, please? Could you go to a number to show how many of you there are here? Are there any shadow people here? Could you use the spirit board, please? Or use any of the equipment? Why is Ghost tube hasn't gone off once. <laughs> All time. Neither have either the EMFs. You're welcome to come and sit amongst us. Could you go to the yes if you ha or no to sit, whether you're happy to ha see us here? If you can't move this planchette because you don't have enough energy, try and use one of the devices by the side of us, please. I can't keep both hands on, I'm twisting my back too much. Leave That's me alone. That's the second time we've had that, isn't it? Yeah. If you want us to leave you alone, put move the planchette to no. Move the planchette to goodbye. Tell us goodbye. And we leave. We we'll pack all our gear away. That was my stomach, that, not a stomach, but like a throat gurgle. Move the planchette to goodbye, and we will pack everything away. We'll turn everything off, and we'll leave. Or do you want us to stay? That was loud. Mm. It was just a loud drip, I think. If that was me, sorry, I hit the board. Maybe what do you want? We would like to communicate with any spirits. You don't even have to be linked to Candleston. What about the Merthamower sand dunes? There's a story of the town of Treganlaw that was buried by the sand dunes. Could anyone from Treganlaw come forward? Or even any of the dark entities that are supposed to haunt these woods and this castle? The shadow people? Now I'm on edge a bit more. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like these things, but so far as my second goal, nothing's happening. Is the spiritual entity of the apparent goblin stone here? I mean, we know that's bullshit, don't we? Didn't hurt to ask. No. I'd laugh if it did move on that. All right, guys, so um, obviously we've had a, a go with the Ouija board. We can't do it for too long because it, the temperature's dropping quite rapidly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it was down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's scare you. No. <coughs> <coughs> so um, yeah, we've tried a Ouija board session. The the planchette is just sticking to the board. I think. 
And I'm not being sarcastic. Literally, there was rubber grips on it. They wouldn't let it move. We've ripped them off, cleaned it as best we can, and it just doesn't really slide that well. It sort of scrapes along rather than slides. Yeah, so we're going to have to get another planchette for it. I think maybe that was designed more as a... Ornamental. Yeah. Um, but no, nothing. Um, the Ghost Tube app. I don't think we've had anything relevant, really. No. Any names that have been said have been... Too modern. To, to, to us have been too modern. Um, I, don't, I don't know. This feels as flat as the time we came here where there was a reeve in the woods. Remember we got so disappointed? Yeah. That edgy feeling that we... Yeah, it we was so in. noisy, we, we weren't on edge that time. We didn't put the video out because we just weren't in the mood. It was too noisy and... When we first came here, we felt on edge, didn't we? Yeah. We, we, we were a little bit on edge, and then I think I think we kind of ruined it for ourselves. We want you to show yourself. I mean, that's that's the uh, holy grail. Holy grail. Somebody would show themselves. I mean, maybe you have, and we've missed it. Maybe when we were laughing. Maybe when we were Asylum. doing. So um, I think we're probably gonna. Call it a night, guys. I mean, Dean's hurt his leg sitting on it on a cold floor. It's cold. Our backs are seizing up. We're old. <laughs> oh, pins and needles in my knee, in my leg, in my foot. So the knee is hurting. Yeah. But yeah, it's been it's been a good night. I've actually we've laughed a lot more than I thought we would. Um, we've thrown everything at it. You know, all the all the equipment we've got. The only thing I didn't bring was the the thing that I'm making with the motion sensor and the, the thing you won't like. Dean doesn't like the idea of what I'm making at home for another experiment. I couldn't bring the Tesla coil because there's no power here. Um, so yeah, let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please like the video and um, in the comment section, show Dean some love because he hasn't been on the channel for a while. Anyway guys, from me and Dean, much love to you all. Beardo, out. We just scared someone. <laughs> I just looked at him. Look at him. Scared you as well, did he? No, I, I, oh. I wonder what bit where I heard him step in a twig or something. I, I Move, you bastard. Move! It's fucking broke, Dean. Go on. Go on, we ain't touching you. Move! Be real. Move. Do the flashy thing. Come on, you wimp. Move it. Go on, this sneak in a rent pod, eh? <laughs> Drink some of the sneak in it, make it move. All the energy you need, all in one healthy serving with no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit, all of it. What has he got in his hand? Oh shit. <laughs> Dirty bastard! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> gas demon. <laughs> I have never ever heard you fart. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> Spirit, you'll have to excuse my friend. Sacrifice. <laughs> uh, we've got the pot wasn't that bad. <laughs> ritual sacrifice. I think Dean's just sacrificed his pants. <sighs> oh, 
Oh. Why are you bored? <laughs> Do you not find Trump's funny? <laughs> But yeah, um, beard out. I'm gonna glare now, you twat. <laughs> I wish you would. Don't interrupt my outro again, please.